and one thing I, I want you also to touch on as well is you, you mentioned, like you said, you'd been in ACN for 20 years, starting with dial tone phone service. Um, but you've seen ACN morph and change and add things and move into different industries. And, you know, today we're in a new industry in the United States, uh, impact health sharing. Uh, I'd love for you to talk a little bit about uh, impact and uh, the what it's done to your business and how opening up into that industry has tran transformed your business. Man, let me tell you, if we could flash back and start over, if we could replicate what we what we have done in 20 years with the current ACN of today and throw our whole, our whole organization into repeat of this, hundreds of millions of dollars more would be earned by the organization as a result of opportunity of the services we have. So, and I don't say that casually, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking not about generate, not about business volume. I'm talking about real earned income is mind blowing for how much revenue is created because the whole principle of ACN is the building yourself in essence, a book of business that pays you ongoing income for the services people pay and use monthly. We all agree that that is true. Now, ACN started with what was available at the time, which was long distance dial tone. So that's when we came into ACN was long distance dial tone phone service. Now, previous to me, I know that they had done like beepers and all that kind of nonsense, but that was already gone before I came into ACN. So the thing I appreciate most about ACN is they're always forward looking. They're looking down the road today. What is AI going to do, ladies and gentlemen, to disrupt and change industries? I, I'm going to tell you right now, AI is going to disrupt a whole lot of industries, some very negatively and some very positively. But here's what I know, whatever augmentations that are created in the world economy, ACN will pivot with it. And that's where I find reassurance. See, I'm not in a company that is so antiquated, it is not willing to shift and morph. I've seen it morph. I've seen probably five iterations of ACN, five in 20 years. Literally, I go back to people and say, listen, it's not even the same company. The conversation we had two years ago, Bro, forget about that. We need to have a new conversation about the new opportunity because it is 100 times better than it was last time we spoke. So even when people say, have you heard of ACN? And they're like, I think I heard of ACN. Okay, it's not the same company. It's not even the same opportunity. Would you do me a favor and, and set that experience aside and allow me the opportunity to explain what we're bringing to market now? That's the conversation, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm having. That if someone hasn't heard of ACN literally for me in the last 12 months, which is when impact was added to the ACN US market, they do not understand, they do not know the gravity and the impact and the avalanche of revenue that is being generated from the singular product. So we built a multi-million dollar company based on a $15 a month long distance phone bill. You guys talked about the launch of energy in your market, right? So I was around when gas service launched for California. So energy launched, we generated, we acquired as an organization 10,000 customers in one day. 24 hours, we launched energy, 10,000 customers came into our system literally 24 hours later. Now, yes, the vast majority of that was just our IBO organizational team signing up for energy themselves. Like, yeah, that's where the vast majority came from. But I'm telling you, the numbers just kept climbing as far as the rate and acceleration of acquisition of customers. But let's be realistic. The climate in California is so mild that a gas bill in California is like 15, 20 bucks. So it's not a high revenue generator. Does that make sense to you guys? It sounds really sexy on the, on the flyer. I now live in Cincinnati, Ohio. It ain't a $15 a month bill in Cincinnati, Ohio. Let me tell you right now, right? We're talking hundreds of dollars for utility service because they didn't offer electricity in California. Electricity was like in Texas and other markets. So we're still dealing with a limited billing volume product base. So you needed a large volume of customer base in order to create a residual income that would become attractive or usable because realistically speaking, this is almost leadership at this point because you guys have been on for so long, is that people want to see results being residual income. Most people don't see a residual income from roughly six months under the old ACN model, six to nine months before they got the first residual check of like 15 bucks, because they were 
a few customers, a little bit of a team, overrides, comp plan changes, et cetera, et cetera. Well, now you have impact here in the United States, the average impact customer. Guys, I don't know if you see this or not, but there's not a shirt I go out in in 20 years. Honestly, I have never worn an HCN shirt in public in 20 years. I never have done it. I've never, I, look, I know they've had shirts for 20 years. I never wore a single freaking shirt in public other than flying to an ACN event. I would wear an ACN branded polo when I was like going out to an ACN event. Other than that, I am Ryan and I was expanding in business, right? Like, so that's, that's how I did it. I know there are other people that brand themselves out their cars, freaking wrapped in ACN. Like, that's not me. That's not how I do my deal. Good for the people that do that. It's just not me. Not how I, not how I float my boat. So for me, this is the first time we are full tilt. There's not a shirt. I don't go out in public that doesn't say <laughs> healthcare redefined, right? Cut costs, not care. That is our team slogan. That is what we are broadcasting across the United States in every conversation that we're having. Cut costs, not care. Because typically when you're cutting someone's cost, they're also losing value of something, right? Like, what am I giving up? If I'm saving 50% on something, what am I giving up in exchange for a 50% reduction? Does that make sense? Like, logically, you have to appreciate there's a give and a take. Where in the world outside of this service are you giving? Are you getting both a great quality product service at a reduced cost? It's not common that that's true, ladies and gentlemen. So again, we're disrupting the industry of healthcare. The fact you guys are launching mortgages in the Canadian market in four days is the same impactful revolution on steroids. So I did not know until I got on this call that you guys, yes, exactly right. I, look. Talk about raising the game, man. The tech, if my wife is in here seeing the, the freaking stuff you guys have going on with your video type stuff, this you guys are unbelievable, man. This is this is incredible. But I cannot tell you how lucky you guys are for the Canadian market to be getting into the mortgage industry because equivalent revenue, you guys have really two products that are superior to what the US market has. Your combo of phone internet branded flash. And the billing revenue generated through that and utility service are both of those are equivalent to our healthcare in billing revenue. So the Canadian market already has a two to one success over the US. Let me just be honest. All right, guys, we're going to stop the webinar there because Canada has a two to one success over the US. I think that's a perfect time to stop. Thank you, Ryan. We're going to wrap up. <laughs> Sorry. No, keep going. Keep going, Ryan. And you're just getting ready to launch a third one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because let's be realistic, right? Mortgages and getting a per se percentage of what that. Now, I don't know the whole conditional structure of that whole deal, but here's what I know. My mortgage is the first or second most expensive thing going on in my household. In the U.S., it's second to healthcare. So usually it's mortgage, then it's a car or healthcare. That's kind of how the trifecta goes as far as most expenses. And you guys will now be in three of the top monthly generating expenses of a Canadian, which is their mortgage, essential services, being internet, television, cellular phone service, right? And then you guys have, like, so the flash products, energy service, and mortgages. Three to one. So build the U.S. service, but it's foreign to you guys, right? Like the idea of healthcare in the U.S. is baffling. Like I was sitting at these events with Matthew LaMontagne and Simon, and they're like, I don't understand this whole thing. I don't, I don't get it. And so they're struggling trying to put their, their mind around what healthcare is in the U.S. and why it's so terrible and disruptive and this, that, and the other. And I was going to tell you, take a breath. You got a three-to-one lead over the U.S. So listen, Take the cash cow that's laying before you and realize you guys will become the dominant force of what's going on in ACN where the, Can where the Canadians are going to take over every chart that ACN's got because you guys have such an amazing product base to build your business. Now, I'm not saying that at any dismay to the U.S. Look, the success of ACN internationally is a success for us all. The bigger ACN can get, the more stories we can point to, the more success ACN can have. Listen, we all can succeed. I don't have to be in the charts for me to know that I matter to myself and to my family. The charts don't define my, my intelligence. The charts don't define my integrity. The charts don't define my identity. Listen, I don't live and breathe only if I'm number one or number five. I don't freaking care where the charts show me. 
I just care that a residual income is posted every 30 days for myself and the people that I'm building a business with. And I'm trying to improve that. And everything else to me doesn't really matter. Circle champions, intergalactic, this, that, whatever. I don't really care. Let's build people. Let's, I, and I say build people. This is about building people. And the income comes as a byproduct of building people. I was, that, that was a perfect yeah. lead in because I was literally going to ask you, Ryan, you know, with us launching with mortgages, what should somebody do? What should a new IBO do? And I, I mean, if you didn't get anything from what Ryan was saying, I mean, you weren't listening. You need to go back and listen to this recording. And Ryan, thank you so much for taking time to come on the call to help all of us. That was one of the best leadership calls that we've ever had. So make sure we'll uh, tell Megan that you got a gold star. Uh Hey, it's all about trying to live up to the, the shadow of my wife, man. She is definitely the shining star of our relationship. She definitely is the person who, who I aspire to be like when I grow up. My wife is a, is a dynamite. Uh, she really is Wonder Woman uh, incarnated in a human form in real life. Uh, and I can see the same relationship, Dom, uh, that you have with Jordana. And you are a true powerhouse couple as well. Your skill sets are phenomenal. I love the similarities between our families and our units. And I now feel sad because I flew up to Edmonton four times and did events in Edmonton. I was at the giant mall, which is where no! they held the event when I flew no! up there. Did the events. No! Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it's, it's just, it's crazy to me. And I had a small team building in Edmonton. Uh, and I'm like, oh, now I need to be calling my Edmonton people back and see if I can't rekindle some fires going on for my Edmonton people, because it's been some years since I've been in contact with them, but I think I might be right rekindling the, an Edmonton group because uh, that was a great experience for me to build up there when I was doing that for a short period. But yeah, I, uh, I've got fond memories of oh, Edmonton, yes, Edmonton Mall. Welcome. Dude, if you thought that was great, you got you to gotta come up and hang out with Jordan and I and Tim and Sharon, and we got to take you guys, take you out for some fun. And yeah, you got you got to build a team out here in Edmonton. Well, you guys are phenomenal. Again, I'm, I'm truly, guys, I'm truly humbled uh, for the platform ASEAN has given us. Any one of you will be where any one of us has been, right? You'll all have your time at the top of ACN. You'll all have your ability. All that I ask is you remember who you are. Remember that you're no different than any other person. Always treat people with respect and dignity. No matter what level of success ASEAN promotes you at, remember you're a human first. People matter. Everything else comes second to that. And know that it's about giving back to the people and to the company that has blessed us with the opportunity. Because at the end of the day, guys, there's a lot of blessings going to be bestowed upon people that go after this business, but it's about giving back and doing so in a genuine way. Remembering we're not better because we have more. There's more expected of us because we've been given more.